once this matchup kind of came together on on uh, short notice, I guess. What, what was your take when they when they came to you with that name and said, "Hey, you, you want to do this?" With the name, perfect. You know, I've seen Casey Kenny fight before. I like the matchup. He comes quite aggressive, and for me, that's what I like in a fight. You know, I like the guy to come at me, which I'm sure he's going to do. Um, with it being short notice, I'm always training. I'm always fit, um, so it's not really been an issue in regards to you know getting in shape and stuff. But um, I'm just happy to get another one in before Christmas, you know, especially with the pandemic stuff that's going on, you know, it's kind of hit and miss when you're going to be able to fight again. So, you know, the fact that I can jump on Fight Island and get another one this year, amazing. Is it easier, like the timing of this one, man? I think about like the way the sleep schedule was for everybody and this one's, you know, like kind of a normal time. Does, does that make, do you feel like it makes a difference? Um, yeah, I, it's a tricky one. You know, it is nice to have a full fight camp. As I say, obviously, um, you know, I've been training all year round anyway. Um, so it's actually quite nice to have a, a, a kind of fight on three weeks notice. And, you know, it's it's left me not having to overthink things. So, you know, three weeks in, out, go home, enjoy Christmas, as opposed to, you know, having two, three months to, to get ready and thinking about an opponent, etc. How about the fact you don't have to fight in the middle of the night this time? Is that Amazing. Cool? Yeah, that's, that's uh, much better. You know, last time I was the first fight, so I was on at one. Um, which wasn't too bad, but yeah, you know, it's nice to be fighting at a reasonable time and especially for my friends and family at home. Were there any lessons that you took out of that last experience? I mean, Carmen, it's obviously the first time you're here, right? Trying to figure it all out and what the arena is going to be like and the venue and hey, all that stuff. Are there lessons you took out of that experience? You think, man, I'm, I'm much more comfortable here this time? Yeah, I just knew that coming here would be easy. You know, everything's done for us. We've got the Performance Institute that's supplying the food. You know, I don't have to get an Uber to a gym or any of that sort of stuff. I just train stay in my room you know do your thing and for me that's a lot easier you know i'm here on business i'm not here for a holiday you know i'm not going out on the jet skis and stuff like i've seen other people doing i can't risk injuries you know i'm here to get paid and then go home i like it as far as the way the styles match up i think a lot of people are expecting a pretty exciting fight do you think it's going to be exciting or do you feel like you could dominate and maybe it won't be so exciting well, it's got all the, the makings to be an exciting fight, but I honestly believe that after the first two minutes, he's going to be shooting for a takedown on me. You know, I think he's coming into this fight thinking that he's a striker and that he's going to be able to strike with me. I'm confident in my abilities, so, you know, I like to see how it goes. And, yeah, as I say, I'm just going to bring my A game and, you know, hopefully it's enough for me on the night. I think last thing for me, as you said, there's so much uncertainty right now, right? I mean, do you have kind of a master plan moving forward? I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can fight in the States or not. I don't know, I don't, you know... Things are changing all the time. So, I mean, what's the plan after this? That's it. It's very up in the air at the moment with just what's going on in the world. Um, you know, apparently we might be going back into another lockdown in England. And, you know, it's um, it's tricky to be able to plan anything, especially if the gym's closed. You know, if the gym's closed, I can't train, I can't fight. Um, so I'm just going to take it as it comes. As I say, I just wanted to get this one in, get another one before Christmas. And then, you know, for the rest of this year, it's not too stressful if I don't fight. What makes you so confident that Casey will shoot him for a takedown after two minutes? I just believe that, you know, my striking is better than his. Um, I know he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's got a good wrestling pedigree. So, you know, I feel that he's going to come out confident from his last fight. Obviously, he, he tore the guy to pieces on the stand-up. Um, but I'm not that guy. So, you know, I think that once he stands with me, I feel like I'm going to be getting the better of him and, you know, he's going to go to plan B. Did you watch that fight knowing that you most likely would fight him next or did it kind of come after No, if I'm honest, I haven't watched the whole fight either. Um, I've just watched like, most of it, but kind of sitting on my phone as well. So, um, But yeah, you know, I'm obviously not the guy that he fought. I'm a complete different fighter, a complete different striker. So it'll be interesting to see, but I'm, I'm excited. And then in terms of the rest of the division, it kind of seems like it's finally moving forward with the title picture. Corey Sanhagen got the big win. Where do you... Where do you think a win over Casey would put you in terms of this division right now? I'd like to think it would at least put me in the top 15. Um, I believe Casey was ranked 14th not long ago. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if I can get an impressive win over him, then, you know, I think that would put me in the top 15 at least. And then, you know, I'd just obviously like to work my way up and, you know, try and eventually get a shot at the gold. I know you've got a few fatherly figures in your camp. Uh, one being Brad, and we all know the role Brad plays, but I see you a lot with your father uh, in in and around all of the fights. And I'm interested in what role he plays in your life inside and outside the cage. So my dad was my kind of head coach from the get-go. Um, he's done martial arts, you know, pretty much all his life. 
he was the one that introduced me to the USC and MMA and, you know, made me become a fan. Um, so, yeah, you know, he's been with me from the very get-go. He's my pad man. You know, he kind of is a bit of a coach in everything for me, um, but mainly mentally. You know, having him here is is a blessing. You know, he knows exactly what I'm like as a human being. He knows the things that I like and the things I don't like. And, you know, he knows when I need maybe to be pushed or whether I need to be calmed down. And, you know, to have that is... Um, it's an extra weapon in my arsenal. For sure. Your dad's got a lot of cool tattoos as well. Yeah. How, do you plan on getting any yourself? I don't know. Um, I did used to want to, to get them covered, but I couldn't afford it at the time. <laughs> now I can, but, you know, now I've kind of thought, mm, everyone's got the tattoos, maybe I'll stay, you know, as a blank canvas. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Cool. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you.